Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about um, basically just building a mini ITX uh, computer uh, whether this is the right way for you to go or uh, should you stick with a micro ATX or a full size or mid size motherboard setup um, so I just built this a little under a year ago it took me a while to build but I'd say it was kind of it's very expensive, extremely expensive to do this. Um, a little more than I'd like to spend. And I did it the cheapest way possible. So, the first thing you gotta do is, of course, find a case. A case you like. I like the uh, Cougar QBX, which is around like 60 to $80. Um, it's a nice case. But I have had. It's actually. Uh, the installation for everything was actually very easy. And I've had a really. Um, really simple time setting everything up um, but the things you gotta um, think about before you go into building this so to start it's gonna be first you get the case then you get the motherboard the motherboard has to be a mini ITX most likely I mean depending on the uh, case you get you know it should be a mini ITX um, from there you have to think about well is the heat sink going to fit? Are you going to go water cooling? Is the water cooler going to fit? Um, it, uh, and even if you get, like, say you get, uh, and this this was my case, what happened to me. So I got a, um, a low profile heat sink, and I thought it would fit just fine. Believe it or not, even the low profile, the problem with it was, it wasn't, it was low profile, which is fine, but the width of the low profile heatsink was too much like the overall um, the base of it was too large and um, there was a cable that comes from the actual power supply over to the back of the um, of the case which ha which they do a lot they reroute the, uh, the power supply cable which is kinda strange but it works it works um, but yeah this is something you have to think about um, in this case, I couldn't even use a low-profile heatsink. I ended up um, giving away the low-profile heatsink, and then I I purchased a water cooler. So when I went about purchasing the water cooler, I noticed it said it had space for a 120 millimeter um, water cooler uh, radiator. So I actually was able to fit a 240 uh, ultra thick, but I had to get all the measurements, make sure everything lined up make sure everything was perfect before I popped it in otherwise this wouldn't have worked at all and it's a tight squeeze it is um, you know this could be a problem and on top of that I bought a hybrid cooler and the hybrid cooler it's got like an air cooler on the actual water block the CPU block itself this is where the problem comes in so the hybrid cooler if it was just a standard cooler no problem but because the fan points out a little bit on the block itself I, I'm not able to use this um, the hybrid the air cooler part of the uh, cooler so um, yeah this was a problem so I, I ripped it out and I put the, the cover on put the case on etc um, and it worked fine um, the water cooler works good it's like I said it's ultra thick you have to get measurements for everything before you go into this it's going to be a little bit of a pain but you know this is just what you have to do you get in a smaller build you're gonna need measurements I always recommend maybe look even looking into what other people um, built and see what a, you know just see what uh, specs they used and just maybe just buy the same parts buy similar parts it's, it's easy it's that's the easiest way but if you wanna like really look into it and pick part for part look at the dimensions this is what I had to do my graphics card is tall. It's it's long. Um, I believe it fits up to 300 millimeter. Believe it. Um, long. So the height of it is almost borderlining um, what it would need. But yeah, you got to look at your dimensions of everything: the the card, the cooler, all your fans. Um, now there's with these smaller uh, cases they they tend to use smaller fans so in this case you want to use um, you could use the smaller fans they're a little bit louder 
So what I would do, and what I did do, is buy uh, like Noctua's. A little expensive. They usually they usually go for like even for the eighty two, uh, the nineties and the eighty twos, all these small, smaller uh, sizes. Even they go for like fifteen to thirty plus. So you know they 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 can tend to be a little bit of money. But you'll hear the difference between the stock, whatever little tiny fan they give you, and the Noctua fan. It's like you you can't even hear them. Even at full blast, it's it's not a problem at all. Um, but yeah, that's another problem too. You got these small fans; they make a bit of noise. Um, oh, oh, also, this is a this is a good one to note. So they have spots for 120s. They actually have spots for four 120s. But you got to be careful. Again, everything's about dimensions with these smaller, smaller builds, and they don't really tell you this when you when you're looking at videos. Um, you can't run a standard 120 millimeter full size. You have to do, you have to use a half size um, 120 millimeter fan. So basically, I would I had two half size 120s at the bottom, and I have two at the top. I bought these uh, nice Silverstone, Silvertone um, fans, and they they worked really well. But overall, like I said, the cooling is a problem too because now the graphics card's down there at the bottom, facing like a really small section, so the graphics card tends to get a little hot. But basically, if if you are looking into getting a uh, low profile um, one of these uh, mini ITX builds just be sure it is what you want and of course never cheap out on the main especially the cooling parts I went a little cheap with this one it's a um, cryo rig I almost said Keurig but um, yeah never cheap out on the cooling section because if it runs too hot it's gonna run hot now what I what I put into a uh, factor in my build is the I had to switch. I had a um, 3600 XT processor, which is a 95 watt TDP chip. I went from that to like a, a 45 to 65 watt TDP on the new um, 5700G um, Risen chip. Now that's a lower TDP. It's a lower temperature. So now I have no issues at all with temperatures. Uh, graphics card still runs a little bit on the hot side, but it's still not bad. Overall, um, I'm gonna keep running it like this, but I instantly, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of a regret. Um, I had a nice full-size case; everything was running great, and um, I'll say the nicest thing about it is it saves a lot of space, and I have a, more, a lot more room in my room. And it's not flashy. Nobody really knows what it is. So, um, you know, people trying to <laughs> trying to take it would be very rare compared to one of these giant, you know, giant things. But this thing could easily fit in a backpack. It's it's good for uh, mobility, and uh, it's a killer killer setup. I've uh, I picked up a 6700 XT from uh, Micro Center. Which, um, as you may know, it's a pretty good card. I got it for retail, 630. So then I got the 5700G uh, processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Oh well, this is another problem too. Uh, as you go mini on the motherboards, you may have one less PCI, you may have less options. So again, take this into effect and um, just remember. There's going to be a lot of things you're going to have to lose if you're going smaller. But there are also uh, motherboards that kind of like compact it all to some extent. But you're still going to end up losing from, from a full size to a mini. You're going to lose PCI slots. So just be ready for that. Um, you're going to lose other options that you, um, you'd only have with the full size. And yeah, there's other things you might lose. But overall... Um, I'm still gonna stick with it. I like it. It's um, right now I keep it open. This way I could use the um, um, this way I could use the hybrid um, air cooler, water cooler type deal. So I keep it open. I put it back on, and 
now everything's running at 30C, uh, the processor, it's great on idle. So, you know, this is, um, if you are looking into uh, building, let me know. Um, maybe I can answer a couple questions and uh, point you in the right direction if I can, because this is the main thing. I'd love to build more of these. It's like, even if I can go smaller, that'd be great. There, there's still more room in there. Oh, that's right. So I have to tell you, um, some of the cases will allow for a full-size power supply. Now, in this case, this one does not, technically, but I will say this. I've looked up online. You could, it's a, it's a bit of a pain, but I was able to reroute the wire over. This way I could use a full-size power supply. What I would do, though, I would honestly buy the SFX. In this case, um, this way everything's in the right spot. You don't have to worry about doing this modification. Um, I don't recommend doing any modifications if you don't have to. But um, it'd be better because you got it's a little smaller. You got a little bit more room, and the fan's not going to sit right on top of the, like the power supply is here. The fan's here. So if you get a smaller power supply, I would assume there's going to be a little bit more room in in that general area. There's going to be more airflow. It's going to run a lot cooler. So I would get the SFX if you can. Again, it's like around 150, 120, depending on uh, what wattage you're looking at. This is a full card, so you know I need something uh, decent. But yeah, look into it. Um, like I said, if you have any questions about my rig, I'll, I could even put the specs at the bottom if you like. Um, just shoot me a text, uh, shoot me a comment, and uh, I'll get back to you. All right? All right, thank you again, everyone. Uh, hopefully you had a good Halloween and uh, start up some more videos soon enough. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. And also, if you like, this is going to be uh, my Robin Hood and my first trade. If you'd like to start a little portfolio, you get set up with uh, those brokerages, and uh, they'll give you a free stock. All right, everyone, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you again.